Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Fresh. I'm Lance Savali. You'll be chilling with me today. Man, we've got a whole lot of poly goodness happening right here in Aotearoa, but also around the world. So let's check out what's going on today's show. They want to hear us. They're there for us, and, and it's very heartening. Heartening. Is that a word? Can I make that one up? It's really hard to I'm back home for a minute with some downtime, and I want to share with you a little bit about my world. His name's Vili. With my experiences being able to travel the world as a dancer, there's one thing that I really like to do, is really go out into the streets and see different types of cultures, food, street art, street talent. But it's awesome to see the same thing happening right here at home, just like Opronesia. Fresh, 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 Talo Falava, my name is Ben Sinusen, and I'm from Samoa. Malo Soifua, my name is Joel Amosa, and I'm from Samoa. Malo Lele, my name is Daunua Filimuhala, and I'm from Tonga. And you're keeping it fresh with... Opera Nisha! Listen, listen, let us from afar. So they've blocked off the street, and we are essentially performing to those eating around us. Music is engraved in, in our culture, like it's, it's engraved in our DNA. We, we grow up in musical families, we sing at church. I think it's just something that's been a part of our lives since day one. And I think that's why us Polynesians are excelling in opera singing. We wanted to do something different um, and bring Pacific into the CBD just to give it a bit of colour. Put a spice tonight. Bunks with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. Put a bang, bang. Come. I reckon this is what Auckland's all about. This is our point of difference between Sydney and Melbourne and all those other places. It's our Pacific voice and poetry and Cindy of Samoa. And the flavours. It's an exciting time to be in the city. Most of our audiences that we do perform are Balani. Sponsor me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I love the man. I love the man. Please. Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? It was the financial struggle that brought us yeah. together. All four of us wanted to attend national singing schools, and the fees to go to this to these schools are very high. Uh, so we decided, hey, how about we all get together and we perform a fundraiser concert. The feedback that we got from that concert was, we want more. It's very heartwarming as well. And they're sitting there, they want to hear us. They're there for us and, and it's very heartening. Heartening, is that a word? <laughs> Can I make that one up? It's really heartened. We're running by Allenton. There was supposed to be a fashion show at seven, but it's seven and well, it's a fashion show. We are the Shades. Yeah, I think the cool thing is um, bringing the brown downtown. So uh, now nah, yeah, it's good to see some uh, polys. Uh, like ourselves and uh, the brothers from Opernesia singing uh, opera. How do we keep it fresh? fresh? We rock our ulas at every performance and we make sure we have a mean feed before we sing. <laughs> we don't forget to laugh no, on stage and off stage. is going to be around for a very long time.
Thanks for hanging out with us. We are Opera and, and keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh. Keep it fresh. And welcome to the Islands Tip, the segment where I teach you a little few things of advisors in case you go to the islands. This week, we're talking about the illy or the fan. This is a thing that we're using in church to cool ourselves because we got no air condition. This idea was born from the uh, very hot weather in the island and you're sitting in church and even though it's no doors and no wall, you're still hot. So you need to cool yourself with a fan. It's very similar to the uh, Chinese fan and a Japanese fan that the girl walk around and cover her face. It's very much like that. But let me tell you the different function of the Ili. Number one, I already told you it's for cooling yourself. So you fan, 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 fan all the time in the church and you get a big forearm muscles. Okay? Number two, sometimes when you walk into church, it's a very hot and the sun is beating down on you and you forgot to put on a hat. Well, you're using the fan to cover the sun like a shade, like an umbrella, put over your head and walking like that. It's a shade. Number three. It's good to cover your mouth if you want to be talk a fake color, which is a salmon word for gossip. If you want to talk about something and you don't want the minister to say you're talking, put in front of your mouth and talk to the side and nobody know. <laughs> When there's a big lunch and there's a lot of food out on the table and you're waiting for the guest of honor to arrive, you can't just leave the food there and the flies attack it. So the illy is used to keep the flies away. So you have about three, maybe four people stand around the table and keep the flies away by fanning with the illy. Now, you can't use a fly spray, you say, because what's happened, all the fly spray will fall on top of the food people's gonna eat and they're gonna be poisoned and go to the hospital. And the last of all, my favorite, the Ely is using for a discipline. Now, when I say discipline, I mean discipline all the little children who's naughty and talking and making a lot of noise. If they talk too much, you're just giving a little flick with the Ely and then they get a big surprise, come to the side of their cheek and then they not talk anymore. Oh yeah, I remember getting many things when I was a naughty boy in those days. It's a many functions as you can see that the Ely has. Tune in next week for more pretty advisors on an island step. Thank you. All right guys, I really hope those tips will help you, but don't go away, because next up we have a little bit of me and my world. Rihanna popped up with a world tour audition, got the email, did the audition, and I was blessed enough to book that. Cashew! Cashew! Dad. Yes, son? What's the dress code for tonight's dinner? Is it formal or...? Oh, uh, no, nah, it's just a cashew one. It's very cashew. Him. Well, can I go out afterwards? Just don't let your mother guess you, eh? Okay. Can I take out your car? Are you nuts? Oh, then I'll guess you later. She doesn't Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Lance Savali. I'm back home for a minute with some downtime, and I want to share with you a little bit about my world. I was born and raised in Wellington. Uh, I went to school all my life there. Uh, all my family, my uncles, my cousins, they all sung and they all played an instrument, but I was the kid who didn't do either. So I, was, I always wanted to dance and I was always that kid at school who just wanted to show, show his backspin moves at, at a school assembly and the teachers would be like, oh, not this week, Lance. I moved to Auckland when I was 17. I uh, drove up, left home, sit by the mum, packed my car with all my clothes and my blanket and stuff, but I moved into one of my one of my boys' house. I literally like slept on his couch, paid him like $50 a week just to stay there. 
time went on, I got a call from uh, Paris Goble and her team over there and they just asked me if I wanted to come over and uh, see how it is. And then when I joined the Royal Family and training under Paris Goebel and being under her dad, it just opened my mind and my eyes to this huge industry and actually being able to make this dance thing a career and a lifestyle. For the last two years, my life has just been crazy. Like, I never thought I'd be where I am today. Because I've always had like my main, my main artist that I've wanted to dance for, and definitely one of them was Chris Brown after Michael Jackson. So when I booked that, I was like, man, this is everything is amazing. My next goal was yo, I want to do a world tour, and then Rihanna popped up with a world tour audition, got the email did the audition and I was blessed enough to book that and then ever since then we toured America and then we went to Europe and this was my first time in Europe and this was just a whole nother level, it was crazy. Just being in stadiums where you've watched the All Blacks play against like England and stuff, man, it was insane. It's just a whole dream come true, just the level of experience that these artists are on, like coming from here, performing at our, you know, like Waitangi Day, and then going over here and performing with Rihanna at, at her anti-world tour show. FaceTiming my mum uh, at the beginning of the show to show her the crowds, she would just be like, oh, what the heck? You know, I never forget where I'm from, never forget like who I am as a person going over to America just being around different people, different cultures, and giving them knowledge of our culture from back home is just such a special thing for me, also being Samoan. But one thing I do really miss when I'm traveling is the food. Like when I'm in Italy, like eating this nice ass pasta, I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool, but you know, I'd rather some sapa sui, and you know, my nana's fai and kalo and, and that. So don't you worry. It's been amazing. Yeah, I'm just happy. I'm a happy man, like I never thought I'd be able to bring my dance career this far. So traveling all around the world is a huge part of my life right now. But one place I haven't been to is Guam. I really want to go one day because I actually heard there's a big dance scene out there and a couple of my friends have been over there to teach. So I will be there soon, but that's enough about me. Let's check out our brother Ben with his poly postcard in Guam. My name is Ben Kanata. I'm from the island of Guam. I'm a local boy just living a everyday life on the island. Tonight, we are gonna go on an island adventure and explore the island in the dark. I'd say the freshest thing about Guam is the people. Uh, we're all very humble, we're, we're all a family. The moment you get off that plane and step your two feet firmly on Guam, you are officially part of somebody's family. We're gonna go searching for some pigs and hopefully we can come across them and get lucky. One thing we're gonna see for sure, especially on the cliff side, is a doo-doo. A doo-doo is a coconut crab. If they are big enough, we will catch them and we will feast on them. We're gonna start a fire just to uh, see what we can get out of the jungle here, man, and uh, hopefully catch some meat. Crystal clear water, fresh water. We'll catch them for you guys. Have some good eats, man. Coconut milk and no, some coconut crag. Too small. That one right there is pretty good. Yeah. So these crabs right here, our, uh, our ancestors lived off of these. They lived off of the river, they lived off of the land. Oh, it tastes awesome, man. The meat in the claws is, is the best. <laughs> Today we didn't catch no pigs. Uh, we weren't lucky to get some pigs or deer, but uh, we caught some local coconut crab, which we are gonna feast on. Pop that open. Some of the best meat you'll have, man. It's been my poly postcard. All love.
Shop in, thanks bro. All right guys, hold tight because next up, we're gonna see who makes the best potato salad on the Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. I've got to make potato salad for a family service of somebody, I don't even know. What would Jesus do? Jesus ate bread, get them a loaf of bread. Adi. Des. Adidas. Oh my gosh, there's water everywhere. Someone's left the tap on. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. Did you or Nikki do this? Uh, I did it. What? I did it. Go tell Nikki to come and help you clean up. See, Just do it. Oh, yeah. Nikki, tell Puma and Ripper come clean this up, man. Look what you did it, man. Ah, oh, real. Hey, welcome back to Fresh, everybody. I'm Lars Savali. I was thinking it's about that time we go check out our aunties and all the epic drama that's happening with them on the Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. Let's go. Oh no, Madonna. What? What, Lee? What happened? The pastor's wife's cousin's father's son just passed away. Not another one. I swear they never run out of those. Madonna, you need to make a potato salad, please. A potato salad? For the suppers. How many suppers do you want me to make a potato salad for? Just three. Oh, well, that's okay. Handy. 300 suppers. Madonna, every church member needs to contribute a little bit. I'm gonna join him soon. Ooh, Madonna, have some respect for the dead. What about some respect for the living? I've got to make potato salad for a family service of somebody I don't even know. What would Jesus do? Jesus ate bread, get them a loaf of bread. Think of it as your good deed for the week. I've already done my good deed for the week. Every time I walk into the room, I'm a donna. When people need help, we help each other out, ah? Eh? And your amazing potato salad could bring so much happiness in this time of sadness. What are the options? You either make the potato salad or you pitch in for the envelope to give to the family. 300 suppers? Cool, got it. Hmm. Did you go to Kelston Boys High School? I miss him too, you know? I miss his cooking especially. He made the best potato salad ever. I mean, you know, I wish he was here to make it tonight. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone at church used to ask him to make the potato salad at every occasion. Oh, really? Have you tried, like, all the potato salads in the universe? Uh, no, I haven't. Why is that? No, I'm just asking. Can't really call it the best if you haven't. Mm. Um, nice to meet. Langi. Langi. Kia kaha, fa steroids. Oh, Madonna, this is Langi, Lily's sister. Ah, uh, yeah, we've, we've met already. Um, thank you so much for coming. Please don't forget to take home some food. Don't worry, I will. Yeah, but just a warning. Um, you might want to be careful of the potato salad. It's, it's a bit dodge. Yeah, I'm starting to feel sick now from it. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah. Poor thing. Yeah, I heard really was the best day. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, if he was here tonight, he would have thrown that potato salad in the bin. Oh, excuse me, I gotta go lay. And here's your change, cause change is a coming. My card was playing up, so I used your card to draw out the money to buy the stuff. <laughs> okay. How much did you draw out? Only three. Oh, okay, okay. Handy. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you really shouldn't have. You should. The family's gonna really appreciate this. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh. You're welcome, Lungy. Uh-oh. Will Madonna have to fork out for her own funeral? Is that a ghost? When did Lay become a ghost whisperer? Fat. Why are these ladies using the F word? That's true, man. And what's got Harmony singing the wrong melody? These questions probably won't be answered the next time you tune into Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. Well, guys, it's that time for me to get out of here. I've got to go back on tour, but I hope you enjoyed chilling with me today. If you ever come to America, make sure you bring me some food. But until then, keep it fresh. I'm Robbie Mungasiva, and your can of awesomeness is coming from my home island of Samoa. Samoa.